felt like we was being paid enough. And so we went on strike. And it was amazing about that. I was in the world. Uh, I marched some, but uh, I was the cook for the strikers. And um, we never locked us up, never put us to jail. We walked those streets. I look at it as there were decades, coming from South Carolina, decades were fought just to have a flag removed from our state house. Decades. But in high school, uh, you know, things started to happen. White girls started to black, date black guys, and you know, it just, that from those experiences, that's when you really start to see the actual uh, racist, racism and how deep embedded it was within our community. From what I can remember, the white uh, children had a bus, school bus, and we had to walk about two, about three or four miles to go to school every morning. And them on the school bus, they would throw their trash and stuff at us for walking to school. My dad fought for this. My grandfather fought for this. My grandfather stood in these moments. And if they're, God forbid, I'm fighting now so that they don't have to. Um, and God forbid, if they do, I want them to take the stance, same stance that I took to, to, and have the same mindset that I, that I have that says there are people, we are better than this, we don't deserve this. We are, um, we are America. <laughs> we, we, this, the America was built on our backs. And some might have, you know, like they like dropping out a wall, but you don't give up. You keep on fighting. Sometimes it's anything is worthwhile. It don't come easy. And there's a saying that it's not the past. Everything is rush, 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 and hurry, hurry, hurry. But the one that gave it a whole lot into the east, into the east. Stay.